Hi, this is Gene Strickland. I wanted to create this short video just to cover how to upload your images to the Flickr page that you create. I'm going to show you how to create an album out of your images for each project. And then I'm going to also show you how to identify your album's URL for project submission, which you'll upload to Blackboard. And then I'll show you how to activate that URL from within Blackboard. Also, I'm going to show you how to add your individual images for each project to our Flickr class group site so that each of you will be able to see each other's images and comment on them. So the first thing I'm going to do is go over to Flickr and once I'm in Flickr I'm going to access my camera roll Then I'm going to go all the way up here to the upper right and click on this arrow that has pointing at a cloud this is for the upload so I'm going to click it and then it's going to let me choose photos or I can just drag and drop. Let me go choose some photos and videos and I'm going to select just five images, click open, and notice it's loading those images for me. And then at this point, it, they're up temporarily on the cloud server, so I have to actually click upload five photos. Do you want to upload these with the following changes? Now, always make sure that they're public. If they're not public, only you would be able to see them. So make sure you're public, so that way when you upload them to the class group, everybody can see them. And then this also means when you upload it to your individual album that you're submitting for grading, I'll be able to see them. So hit upload. So now I have these five images plus whatever other images I have in my photo stream. Hey, let me take a quick moment just to mention this iceberg photograph, uh, just to give you some idea of how much money you can make with photography. This was created by Ralph Clevenger. He's a Brooks Institute uh, photography faculty. He created this somewhere around 1998, 1999. The sky and the water was shot in Southern California. The top iceberg was photographed in Antarctica and the bottom iceberg was photographed in Alaska and it was combined in Photoshop. I think it was like Photoshop 5 back then. And then it was posted on a stock agency. Over the past, say, 18 years or so, this one photograph has actually earned this guy, well, right at a million dollars in gross revenue in 18 years. Think about that. One million dollars. This one photograph has been earning about $27, $28 an hour for 40 hours a week for 18 years. I mean, that's like $55,000 a year in annual income from this one picture. I mean, that's a good gig. So don't discount uh, photo stock sites for income revenue. Anyway, so let's go back to our images. So you have to submit anywhere between five and 10 images depending on which project it is. And I wanna show you how to submit those and how to create albums. So let's do the albums first. Just click on the albums button and it's gonna say, well, you can easily do this, but you've gotta to go to the camera roll. And it's like, well, that's where we were. And so let's go back to the camera roll. I'm showing you this because some of it's not totally intuitive. I'm just gonna choose these four and then I'm going to go down to add to album and I'm going to create a new album. It's asking me if I want to search for albums in case I wanted to add these photographs to an album I had already created. But I'm going to create a new album. Album title is Project 1 GRD 167. These are my project images. Here you can type up any kind of uh, explanation of what you're trying to achieve, uh, what you learned, what you're inspired by just to give everybody a context for what you shot. Create albums, and here's my album with the four images I had pre-selected. So I'm gonna hit done. Now I'm gonna go over to my albums to take a look at it. Check that out. So here's my albums. It has my picture on the front, and notice the label, Project One GRD167. It has four photos in it. Now come up and look at the URL. I'm sure everybody's pretty internet savvy by this point. Your URL is up here is the address for the browser window. So it typically starts out HTTPS colon blah 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 blah. Now notice what this says. I am just in my albums area. So this is not your URL for this project album. This is the URL for every one of your albums. I want you to submit this specific project album. How do you access that? You just click on your album. So I clicked on my album and notice I'm seeing my title for my album and then all the images within my album. This is what I want you to submit. This URL right here. How do you submit it? Well, you just 
copy it. First you select it. I used my mouse to select it. Hit Command C, which is copy. And then uh, I want you to submit that to Blackboard. How do you do that part? Let's pop over to Blackboard real quick. Okay, once you're in Blackboard, go to your Lessons button. These lessons are weekly lessons, so they correspond with pretty much each week. So lesson one is week one. Drill down inside of it, and wherever you see this assignment icon, this is your actual assignment submission link. So just click on that. One click will launch it. And this is how you submit your URL link or any project really to Blackboard. It's going to remind you of how many points it's worth, a description of what you're doing, a reminder of how to do it. Now I don't want you to submit it here in the comments area. Instead, click on Write Submission, click inside this little uh, box here, and I just hit Command V or Control V if you're on a PC. And currently, this is not an activated URL. Even if, like if this were in an email area, it still wouldn't be an activated URL. In an email, to activate a URL that you're sending to someone, just hit enter. And as soon as you hit enter, it will turn blue and the link will be automatically embedded. Here, you've got to actually create your own activation. So I'm gonna hit Command V again and show you what I mean. So you're going to have to paste it in by hitting Command V select it yourself, and then come up to this insert edit hyperlink. Not the broken one, but the one that looks like a chain. Click on that. It's going to open a new dialog window. And that's where you're just going to hit Command V again, or Control V, to paste that exact URL you just did. Come down to open this window in frame and choose open in new window. Uh, you don't have to give it a title. And just click insert. See how that turned blue with an underline? So now that's an activated URL link. Scroll down to hit submit. So now let's pop back over to Flickr. I'm going to go back over to my camera roll and then I'm going to, I need to go find the group that I'm in. So let me go find my group. You'll do the same thing. Go to you, go down to groups and I'll click the class that I want. So how do I add photos to the class group for all the class to see? This is where you're going to go over to photos and click add photo and then it's going to show you your entire photo stream and then you're just going to select your images I'll select those four again and then just click add to group it gives you a reminder of what you're doing it says you can add up to six at a time and click add to group and now this is in the photo pool a class where no one has joined yet so I'm the only person here but at some point you will actually see all the other students in the class and remember to upload your Flickr self-portrait icon it promotes better retention and engagement if we can kind of see who we're talking to and, and critiquing, that kind of thing. That's how you upload photographs for everyone to see. If you have any questions or comments, uh, just let me know.